Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to test the heads. We know the head has two, the read head and write head. So we need to test the head read and write functions and see if the read and the write performance is good or not. Now let's check how to use the DFL Western Digital Formal Repair Program to test the head. First, if we power on the hard drive, we will learn if the drive is clinking or not. If the drive is clinking, there can be the head problem. And over 90% of the Western hard drives with clinking noises have head damage. If users want to find out which head is damaged, we can go to the program and go to the ROM operations head map. We can untick head one by one to find out which head is clinking, which head is damaged. For example, if we untick head one and the drive stops clinking, that means head one is damaged. If we untick head one and the drive keeps clinking, then the head one is not the one called causing the clinking noises. So we can try to untick head, two, head, head zero. So after untick the head zero, if the drive stops clinking, that means head zero is damaged. So this is the first method to test and to find out which head is damaged. Now let's check the second method. Go to the Melee Thermal Operations test. Here is one menu called Head Read Write test. Now we check this one. Here is the track 10, minus 10. Usually this track uh, is empty, so we can read and write data from it without any problem. So we can click OK to test. Now we can see that head 0, write, read, success. Head 1, write, read, success. So this one is very easy. Users just need to simply click one menu to find out the read and write success. Anyway, this test is for the service error only. Now we can check the third method to test the hard drive head read and write function. Now we go to hex. At the bottom we can see LBA ABA. LBA is for the data error. ABA is for the service error. That means the firmware error. Now we click LBA. Now we try to read this LBA zero. Now we can see it has been read successfully. Now from any bytes we can try to change for example 00, zero to zero 01. Then we write to disk. Now we go to LB again and then go to read it again. Now it's still 0, 01. This means the head read and write functions are okay without problem. This one, this test is real. It's very trustful. Now we check the ABA. ABA is for the service firmware error. We read ABA. Now the data is here. We can try to change the 00, zero to zero 01 to 10 one or 11. One one. Now write to disk. Write OK. Now we go to ABA again and then read the ABA 0 again. We can see 11. One one. So this means the head read and write functions are both OK. So this kind of test 
is very good. Users can test both the data error and also the firmware error and to check if the head and right are okay. Anyway, this just can test some parts of the area. But if the heads are totally damaged or read only, you cannot read and write by the LBA or ABA successfully. So there are three methods to check the head read and write functions. That means first one to cut the head by the head map untick the head one by one and find out which head caused the clinking noises. The second method is to use the menu under the firmware operations test, head read and write test. So the third, the third method is the hex menu. To read is LBA and to read is ABA. Users can change the LBA value to different to read and see if it's readable or not. Or users can change different AB value to different and read again and see if it can be read or not and try to edit one byte and write to disk and see if it's successful or not. So three methods. Very easy to test with a hard drive head and write. Anyway, for Dolphin users, users can request the sales representative to get some sound files. Those sound files will teach you which sound are real head damage. That means if you hear such kind of sounds, there's no need to do anything more. Just bring the drive to the clean room and open it for head swap or unstick the head. So this is very important. Because if you repeatedly work on the drive and, and treat the head damaged drive as firmware damage drive, this will cause permanent damage to the drive. See? So this one is easy and important. Thank you for watching this video.